Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojo. Shouting the head is big for a reason. Yes, I know you people have been waiting for me. Yes, and yes, uh, we go have the conversation. But yes, um, on this particular episode, I come talk about the artist of the year category, best album EP uh, of the year category. And so yes, because that is what a lot of people are talking about on social platforms. I think the other categories people are okay, people are cool. So we are going to talk about the one that has generated uh the most or like a lot of conversations you understand on various social platforms now the vodafone ghana music awards the artist of the year the artist of the year as we talk right now blacko blacko sheriff has won the vodafone ghana music artist of the year now before i think two weeks to the award show you people you know that if you they listen to radio they watch tv or social media they go see so people start to drive narratives a lot of artists were nominated in that category. Sarkodie was there, Stoneboy was there, Camilo was there, Jackie was there, I think Kiddy was there. But it got to a point that it was between Black Sheriff and PC Esther. So on the night of the award, the, if you don't Twitter, it was say jokes they fly. If Black will win an award, they will talk say Sasana Bosom won. Uh, Holy Spirit zero. Holy Spirit near PC Esther inside. So secular versus what? Uh, um, gospel. This conversation or narrative that is been driven by a group of people that they call themselves Table of Men. Table of Men. They swore, said PSA Esther for win what? They, they swore, they said if PSA Esther eh, don't no win the uh, Artist of the Year category, now, then it will be them. So they started a campaign. They started moving to people. Like, yes, they, they did the campaign, which is allowed. So it was like gospel versus secular. And that's why I said on the night on the night of the event, people started creating jokes left, right, center. People uh, genuinely believe and thought that PCA Esther deserved the artist of the year with one song, why you year. And I had a problem with that. You understand? Because when you do a comparative analysis, bro, it was very obvious that Black Sherry, bro, it was, bro, it was, this wasn't debatable. It was undisputed. The facts were there. The numbers were there. Hey, category, you know, whatever premise they, they base the category on. Then, you, bro, a requisite or prerequisite, everything. He had the album. He had the numbers. He had the thoughts. He had a concept. All the hard work, black hole, bro, come on, man. I understand. So, Wyoming year was huge. Where every year had impact to the point said bad bitches were using the song as a soundtrack. We were kissing shots. Why am I Bro, Crawford me to a crew of why am That it was impactful. It was everywhere. It had the numbers. But it was just one song. If you are doing metric analysis, bro, Black Sheriff had the upper hand. So that like two weeks to the award show and that kind of conversation, then it it is funny me, but it's understandable. Everybody they in favorite. Me, I tweeted personally, it's a black sheriff for artist of the year. The guy wept, bro. And there were conversations like, oh, when you release the album, you're supposed to be in the country, you know, uh, play concerts. You're supposed to play concerts for your people in the country. Blah blah blah, bro. Black sheriff did a concert. He and the review, he did a concert. What are you talking about? Or the concert was out of year, was, was not in the year of review. He did for the locals and he transitioned to international. He, he held a show in this Ghana here and went outside and held a show there. It was so that, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing? Sometimes we are kind of crap. These industry people always, they won't try to pitch people against each other. Sometimes if I talk to anybody will you sit anywhere, tell me, say, Black Sherry didn't deserve to win artist of the year. Oh, deep so. He's blinded by, you know, whatever he's blinded with or by. He deserves it. He deserved it. I'm not saying it's a PSA study in work. Gospel artist of the year. Gospel song. Bro, she went. Bro, she deserves it. Those categories. But artist of the year. Come on, man. What are we doing? 
And mostly it be industry players, the gatekeepers, then in the channel, then they drive this, these narratives. And I'm glad that Chatterhouse did the right thing by giving me say, come on from an idea, riot you know, riot thing. Placo, um, ah, he dropped album, the album got about 500 million plus stream. How, what are we doing, bro? Come on, don't do this. And this has on someone. Munya Sadien. Ah, you can't tell me one song. Me say why you mean was a beautiful song, bro. And I love PC Esther. Yesterday, someone tweeted said, Who is PC Esther? You people are kids, bro. You Gen Z's don't respect. Do you know PC Esther? PC Esther of Mintiasti or Mintiasti. PC Esther of Empire Mekura. Say my son, my chief. Mususwa. She's been there before. She has done it before. And she came back and she did it again. She's a legend in my books, in my eyes. Whatever I will say, she's a legend to me. But artist of the year, nigga, please. Let's be serious. Album of the year, another issue. Album EP of the year. I interviewed Black Hole and he said in the video, he said, the other awards now, the other categories that he's been nominated for, no, or he's the, he's been nominated in there, it be 50-50 for him. The album of the year, he be carrying because he be in baby. Album of the year, no question. Okay. They are carrying a 50-50. Album of the year, he is Kong and yeah. Yobeji. Are they to come? The rest will be 50-50. Why? You, are, you have been nominated in like seven categories. What are you talking about? Album of the year, my baby be there. Okay. And he knows the effort, the creative effort he put in the album. He knows the numbers. He sees the back end, like the inf where he's, he's been to with the album, the charts that he's top with this particular album. So like this particular album, they, it was dear. It is really dear to him. So he said categorically, said, I am going to win that category. In that same category, then King Promise in Five Star Album Day. Then King Promise won that category against what? Black Sherry's um, um, the, the Villain I Never Was uh, album. Then Conversation. Bit. Now the category is this. This be how then they define them. The album EP of the year is adjudged by the Academy and Board as the most outstanding compilation, either by the number of hit songs and or the quality of production. So what? Either by the number of hit songs and or the quality of production of an album that was released during the year under review. It must have generated excitement through the year. So people that my argument be say, including me, I'm not going to remove myself from the conversation because I tweeted this. They make it make sense. If we are going to pick an album of the year based on these categories, Black Sheriff was say what? There is... I, outstanding compilation either by the number of hit songs on the album i will feel less five hit songs of the travelers uh, uh, the billion i never was album quality of production maybe i am not technical but you can't tell me say the quality of production on black sherry's the billion i never was album was subpar or mediocre And it must, uh, it must have generated what excitement during the year. So all these categories, all these things that, that, that have been stated in the album of the year, said so they, these be the premises or the premise of people who take, I mean, stand up, choose your album. There he came, there he came. But on the other hand, to keep promising album, production, I mean, Bro, that, that, that five-star album had Ring My Line. It had Iniesta. It had, uh, bro, a lot of songs. You understand? Maybe the numbers, when it comes to the metrics, Black Sheriff's album, no do, uh, Black Sheriff's album do numbers more than in album. But the excitement, the excitement comparatively, the villain I never was and King Promises five star album. The excitement that it generates, I would go for Black Sheriff's album. This is my opinion. I'm not saying it's a King Promise put out a mediocre work. That album was dope. But based on the factors, based on the, you know, 
the foundation, the grounds that you have given. Black Sheriff's album, me personally, I, I, me, this is my opinion. Black Sheriff's album, bro, that was the album of the year. But congratulations to what King Promise. He did his thing and he's won. You can't take it away from him. And you can't sit there and tell me that the album was whack or it's whack. That one, you forget it. But it's all good, you understand? The academy on board. Mr. Academy in the McCombie. <laughs> so yeah, people are mad and all, but yes, I don't think Black Sheriff is phased by this or worried about, about this. But yeah, so congratulations to Kim Promise. Congratulations to, you know, all the winners in the other categories. They will be fine. My name is Kojo Short and I'm out.